Hello there guys and welcome to the SCAR H or SCAR L modeling tutorial. Now this tutorial was going to be planned on my other channel which was called Polygon Core but since we quit I shut it down and I'm going to be creating it on this channel. Okay and as you can see I don't have no uh, toolbox or whatever around here and that's because I use shortcuts now which is holding down shift and right clicking while holding down the right mouse and you know you can get all these you can get polygon cube and like you can do different stuff with that and it, you know so it's up to you what you can use you can stay on polygons and use them by here or here or you can create up a new shelf you know there's different ways you can do it and I'm just using it this way so let's delete this so we're gonna get started by going into your side view and insert an image plane so you can click here and now we've got to find the image so this is the image we're going to be using okay so you just want to import that and go into your perspective view <coughs> and open up the channel box by holding down control and clicking A twice if you click it once it'll open up the attribute editor click it again open up the channel box okay so now we want to I'm just center X and you want to move it into the minus so minus 13 and then in the side view you want to move it into center Y to about 4.2 4.5 what's it so 4.3 will do okay so now we've got the image plane set in we're gonna create a cube and we're just gonna drag it into place now we obviously need to scale this because it's gonna be a bit too small so let's say about 1.5 and bring this up to here and then move these vertexes down to about here before it starts curving inwards just pull these out okay now this is a high poly mesh so we will be smoothing this okay and now if you click up here you can turn it into x-ray and then we can go to face and select the top face and extrude you want to bring it up to here and in this view you just want to pull it in to about there and actually I'm going to select the whole model and just scale it out just a bit more and then I want to go to insert edge loop and insert one here and then just scale that out a bit as well just to give it a nice curve so it'll look a bit like that Now again, you want to select the top face, and then you want to extrude and pull up to here, and then you want to go into your front view, and scale this in a bit more, insert another edge loop, oops, here, and then you want to pull this in like this. And all you can do is you can bevel this. Oops, and just double click and bevel. And you want the offset to be about point point three. And check if this is going alright, just insert an edge loop here and here and one here. Here here and this will just give you a little taste of what we've made so far I mean the curve should could be a bit more defined so what I might do is might select this edge and bevel this and br bring this down to about point 
free. Or something like that. So I've actually deleted them edges and not done that bevel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another edge loop. One here and one here. And then we can curve the shape a bit more. Okay. So something like that. And actually, I could pull this up just a bit more. Scale it in just a little bit. So, something like that should be fine. I'll just check it. Okay, so yeah, that should be fine. Maybe if I delete this. You know, we can always fiddle about with it after. So, yeah. So, actually, I'm going to select these vertexes up here and just scale them down a bit and move them into position. Just make sure that's not affected all that much. So, I'm actually going to scale this in a bit more. On this one, so a bit like that. And now you want to go to faces and select the top face and extrude again. And this one is just straight up. And then click G to redo and pull up to about here. And this one needs to be scaled in. I got uh, inside edge loop, and you want to go to multiple edge loops and do two. And I'll select these edges and just curve out the shape a bit more. Okay. So something like that. Then again, just select the top face, and then you want to extrude this up. And then you want to extrude again, and pull up to about here, and now you want to extrude this one out to about there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale down the body again. I'm going to leave it at 1.5 like that. And that's looking alright for now. Let's just close that. And now what you can do is you can grab these front vertexes, vertices, and drag them out to the front. And now you can start adding in the detail. So first I'm going to save it. I'll just call this scar L. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by doing this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually select this row of edges. And this row, and just lift them up a little bit. Just a little bit more. And then lift and select these two up at top and just lift them up as well. And that's so we can get another edge loop in there and just define out this shape. So we want one. Actually, just do two. Select the edges and just pull this up to about here. And this one, you just want to pull it down there. 
and now I've got to edge loop again and insert one here and insert one here and then just select this first dot drag and select just select it because whatever bullets come out it only comes out on one side don't come out on both sides so we just want to extrude this in and just leave it like that so that's what we've got so far if you smooth it it looks daft so what you want to do is if you want to see it just add in edge loops one here one here one here one here and one at front and you also want one here and at bottom and really these will tighten it up so like if you've got places which get hard all of a sudden like here you want to tighten that up so it doesn't smooth around it and here so it look like that okay now like I said we'll edit it a bit more just to make it look rounder this part here I think that's looking alright. I do see a little bit of weirdness there. And that's because they're straight. So if you slip these, they just scale them a bit. Just a little bit. I should give it a nice curve on it. Okay. Now to stop it from doing this part here, what it's doing now which is looking horrible. You really do need to insert an edge loop inside here. But now as you can see it just looks cubish and in the picture it's got some curves on it. Ours has got some curves but I'll tell you how to do that later. So I will just undo out of all that. You don't really want to add all these edge loops in now because when you're modifying the actual model it'll get messy with all them edge loops about. So you just want to keep it like this. Keep it plain and simple until you've done these parts and this and then you know you can add in them edge loops and see how it looks smoothed. And I think I'm going to stop it here. I am a bit nervous because I haven't done a tutorial for ages. Especially on my channel. And my computer is lagging a bit. As you can see it won't let me pan. So yeah it's best time to end it now before it crashes. Uh, one thing to do is go to edit. Delete by type history. As you can see it clears all that. And also go to edit and freeze transformations so now if you do move the model also send a pivot so now like if it does move up a bit just a little bit and you're like ah oh, fudge you know it's out of shape and all that lot and let's say if you didn't freeze transformations you won't you would be like so which point did I have it on I'll show you that just one minute so like if you had it like this and you moved it up a bit I mean you saved it and turned it off you you won't know how to get back you try and move it and it won't get into perfect position and as you can see so if you freeze transformations you also send a pivot and delete history if you do move it up just a little bit you can just go zero move it out just a little bit zero and it's exactly where we want it so let's do that and I think that's it. I'm deciding if I should have these parts onto the model itself. Like as you can see on mine, my screws are actually built into it. And it'll actually show you how you can do that. But then again it does 
make it a bit more messy because you've got adding a lot of edge loops especially up here this was hard because I had some triangles and all that lot and I just had to make it all quads, it's all quads you really don't want triangles or end guns on smooth models because it can make it look a bit weird but yeah I'm just going to decide whether I should do these screws part of it or what and I'll I don't know why that's like that, I think it's because it's over here and what I'll do is I'll upload this tutorial now on my channel and I'll record some others today but I'll upload one every week and you guys can decide if you want to see how I did this ok so thanks for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more thanks guys